Good day to you all. My name's Trosty and I'm with allr6.com, your Raven Shield multiplayer server specialists. And today I am going to show you how you can now play online multiplayer again with Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield um, because Ubisoft in their ultimate wisdom stopped paying for the servers. So I went out, maybe an old player, you got Tom Clancy's Rainbow Shield on your system. And when you click on to play it, it currently looks like this. So if you're just going to follow this, that's fine. Um, so I've got a brand new clean install on the system here. I'm going to show you how to uh, to go through it. So basically, when you when it starts up, you may have a full screen issue like I have, or your screen may just be a little 800 by 600 in the top left, right, and bottom corner. Okay, press the space bar to skip the intros. Press the space bar again, unless you want to watch the intro, which is fantastic for a 2003 um cinematic okay so the game will then install to this main menu screen here a couple of things i do here right from the offset is i go to options i go to graphics and i change my graphics from 800 by 600 all the way up to 2k i turn everything on to high because we can typically do that everything has shadows uh, decal we have all the decals on high Animated geometry, we want that. We don't want to hide the dead bodies and we don't want the low detail smoke grenades. Okay, so that's all that done. I then go to multiplayer. I change my player name to Trosty. And I'll change the speed to T3. Later on, we'll come back and we'll change the arm patches because that's going to be installed by the installer. We'll return out of this, click on multiplayer, and then this is basically what you're going to get. No Ruby servers. No people can play online and it comes up with this Ubisoft login and password screen. You do it and you get nowhere because there's no servers. It can take up to 10, 20 seconds for that screen to come as it connects the internet. But there we go. So this now does not allow you to log in uh, and play multiplayer. One of the greatest co-op games ever built. Oh, did I just click yes? I click yes. I want a spanner. Oh, now it's going to lock up. That's all we don't want. Don't click yes. Ay, 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 caramba. Hopefully I can edit this little bit out. <laughs> I'm not very good at editing and it's going to... Ah, there we go. Okay. Good. So we're going to come out of the main menu. We're going to quit out the game. And we're going to go and install the RVS update patch from allr6.com so the first thing we need to do is open up chrome internet explorer opera safari whatever you want i've already got a link on mine using um, a special bit of software here ah. so we'll click on the allr6.com type in the top there and it will go to allr6.com you'll get a nice little screen and some music and i don't know why my internet's lagging that's not good um, and listen to the music click on the icon at the top it'll take you into the main website classic rainbow six games how to play online and right at the top here this is where the latest patch will be so we'll click to download this it takes us to mod db and down it comes now hopefully you can hear my voice over the music sound here uh, I'm going to save it to desktop so you can see how it works. You can save it to wherever you want to. And while that's downloading, it's going to take about three minutes. We'll come out of this and we'll go back to this actual uh, thread on the website here. Now in this thread, it will give you lots of information about how to improve your gameplay while in multi -line, uh, multiplayer mode uh, online. First thing I do is it will start in full screen. Um, so we'll go into the Raven Shield Innie and change that. I also turn off the scripts so uh, so that the cinematics, those two screens that come on every time you play, um, will be skipped right over. Um, you can also go to discordapp.com and install the Discord app because that's how people chat. Now if you click on the r6chat.com here, that will automatically take you to the, the chat screen where everyone's talking. And as you go through, read all the stuff, read the information here, extremely helpful. Um, and then it goes on to, um, yeah, it's just help pretty much. Okay, so 
that's taking forever to download and I do not know why I don't have my VPN on so that's that so the uh, the RVS update 2.3 in this particular instance will in up uh, will install a couple of items into your Raven Shield main directory uh, depending on where you have it installed um, it will install the uh, patch to allow you to see the online community servers it will install a patch so that you do not need your CD to play the game uh, it will install um, sound files from various other Raven Shield or Iron Wraith or Athena Sword map packs so that when you go to the multiplayer servers the map packs will give you all of the ambient sounds that you need to play the game uh, without you having to download them all individually because it's nearly 500 gigabytes of sound files alone. The actual patch files is about 50, gig uh, 50 kilobytes, tiny, tiny, tiny compared to the sound files. There's also going to be an all R6 uh, arm patch on there and we've also included the manual. So if you don't have the manual from Steam or whatever, then you can um, go and read it. So, downloads installed. So, I'm going to go to my desktop here and I'm going to double click the icon which says 9 for some unknown reason. And I don't know why that is. Hopefully, it will work. Okay, this is your front end. Bit of information here it tells you it's going to tell you here what it's going to install. This is vitally important, this part here. This is where you identify where you have installed your Raven Shield game. Okay, these are four of the most common locations. So I, for instance, I've installed mine into the bottom one here, the D Steam Library, Steam Apps Common Rainbow Six Three on my D drive. If you've got it from Steam and you just installed it to your normal uh, Steam directory, that will be on the C drive above it. If you've installed it from a CD, it'll probably be the Red Storm Entertainment Raven Shield one. And if you've installed it through UbiPlay, then it will be probably from C Program Files, Ubisoft Game, Launcher Games, Rainbow Six Gold. Okay, so take note of what they are. They're vitally important that you get those right. So click on the I agree. Uh, I agree. Now, depending on what this says here, will mean you may have to go back and copy and paste in the relevant directory or browse for your particular version. I know mine is on D drive. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to highlight that. Click copy. Click agree. Go to here. Highlight all this rubbish. And then press control V which is paste. A key shortcut. And that's where my game is installed. Click next. Click install. Now it's going to take uh, a, a minute or so to install. Uh, 500 megabytes of sound files some some um, arm patch or an arm patch some mods patches and the manual um, what to talk about while it's doing that once it's done very very simple you've already set your name up previously you've already set your, your, your speed you can go into the Raven in Raven shield any file and uh, skip the intros you can skip the uh, full screen or windowed mode um, and that's really it lots and lots of information on the discord uh, channel which happens to be just here so a bit of credits on the end Woo hey there's me Woo what a pain that was to install to create that but there we go so that's installed discord channel here on the all r6 channel always people in here there's always people playing on some of the servers. So basically, if you need assistance, you'll go into this server here or anywhere on this Discord channel, talk to people, and they will always help you. Isn't that right, boys? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're here to help. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it. So there's someone on there now playing the game. So back to Rogue Spear here, and it does that at the end so that you can go back to the thread and start reading up on... on Important things, how to tweak your game to give you that better game experience. Oh, we also have a zombie server. Did I, did I mention that? I did not. So there we go. So we've installed the patch. We go back to our game. Let's try and run it. Raiden Shield. 
Now at this point you may have a full screen game come up or you may just have a tiny game, a little screen in the window. If you have the, the, the small window screen, the mouse button should be in there. Just press right alt enter and it should blow up to full screen. Spacebar will skip this. Spacebar will skip the cinematic. There is a tweak that you can add to the Raven Shield any file to turn that off. Main screen, multiplayer, let's click that. Way! Click on internet server and there now are all of the community servers that uh, are up and running at the moment. Everyone's in Tango 2 at the moment, there's six people there. So let's join that. And here we have my 2K version of Rainbow Six Three Raven Shield. All the people in there; those are the same, most of the same guys that are in the Discord server. So, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to come onto the Discord server um, and ask, and somebody will definitely, definitely help you. Okay. So, my name's Trosty. Have a great day. See you on the Raven Shield multiplayer servers. Dun, dun, dun.